testing the single most important measure of children. Why would we take the technology that is most discouraging to children in the bottom half or the bottom 60% or the bottom 70% and then insist that it matters more than anything else? Why would we give more credibility to standardized tests made someplace else for profit than to the judgment of teachers and parents about the potential of the children they know? In September, I visited Finland and learned about its amazing education system. Its students regularly rank at the top of no-stakes international test in reading, math, and science. They never take a standardized test until the end of high school. Finland has the least variance from school to school, meaning that almost every school is a good school. Teachers in Finland are required to have a master's degree. Teaching is a highly respected profession. Parents trust teachers. Teachers have professional autonomy to make decisions about curriculum, about pedagogy, about what they do every day. Every child has a medical checkup regularly at no cost. Every school has a health clinic, a doctor, or a nurse. Whereas more than 20% of our children live in poverty, less than 4% of Finnish children do. And then most amazing, I don't know if this is the most amazing or no standardized testing is, um, higher education is free, tuition free. And I was told the reason for this is that education is a basic right and it's wrong to make people pay for it. This is KPFA, KPFB in Berkeley, KFCF in Fresno. I'm Anthony Fest, and we're listening to a special one-hour edition of Education Today. That's a speech by Diane Ravitch. She delivered last month here in Berkeley. Diane Ravitch, a professor of education at New York University and a former education department official during the administration of George Bush Sr., originally an advocate of uh, high-stakes testing, charter schools, and vouchers. She's now turned against those ideas, now become an articulate critic of the No Child Left Behind Act, which itself is 10 years old now. Why? Those programs didn't work. Um, That hasn't stopped uh, the the politicians from continuing to push them, but it still uh, has critics like uh, Diane Ravitch uh, out uh, most articulately uh, explaining the failures. 1-800-439-5732. It's KPFA's winter membership drive. We need your support to continue broadcasting programs like this. 1-800-439-5732. That's a pretty uh, uh, basic approach, isn't it? If something doesn't work, you ought to abandon it, not keep forging ahead with it. Ten years of No Child Left Behind, as Diane Ravitch demonstrates, has not closed the achievement gap, has has not uh, brought up the low-performing schools. What what has it done? Well, it's certainly benefited the testing firms and the charter schools, but uh, what about the kids? Also remember that comment earlier about the mayor of New York saying he'd double the class sizes in his city if he could. Uh, another uh, factor obviously at work here, uh, non-educators opining on education and getting to make critical decisions about education. 1-800-439-5732. Please call that number and support this station where you'll hear vital programs like Education Today. 1-800-439-5732. Anita from Palo Alto called earlier and pledged her support. 1-800-439-5732. Please join her. We also, uh, let me repeat, we have our Premiums, if you're able to afford a gift of $60, you can hear the full audio of Diane Ravitch's speech last month in Berkeley. That's a $60 pledge, 1-800-439-5732. A DVD recorded at that event at the Hillside Club, 1-800-439-5732. Diane Ravitch's book, The Death and Life of the Great American School System, How Testing and Choice Are Undermining Education. That's available for an $85 pledge to KPFA at 1-800-439-5732. Whatever you can afford, please make that call now, 1-800-439-5732. Our phone room volunteers are standing by to take your call, 1-800-439-5732. If you'd like Ravitch's book and the audio of her speech. That's available for $135. The book and the DVD, $170. Please make that call, 1-800-439-5732. I'm joined here in the studio by Veronica Faisant. Veronica, 
Anthony, uh, first of all, I just want to mention that we don't have any callers on the phone lines right now. And Get we, with it, people. We want you to know we're serious, okay? Area code 510-848-5732, 1-800-439-5732. We're serious about bringing you the most reliable and best programming that you can hear anywhere in the Bay Area regarding current issues such as the Occupy movement. In this instance, it's Diane Rabbits talking uh, in depth about what's going on in the educational system and why, in her opinion, No Child Left Behind didn't work. And I'm not so sure it didn't work, Anthony. It depends on what the goal was. And if the goal was to further undermine people uh, of low socioeconomics, then it did work. So the number of telephone, you can be, you can make up your mind. Get the CD or the book, the CD for $60, the DVD for $100, or the book, The Death and Life of the Great American School System, How Testing and Choice Are Undermining Education for $85. There's and, the first call. Uh, the, yeah. Here, well, thank you for so much for for that call. As Anthony just told you, you can get the book and the DVD for one hundred and seventy dollars, or the book and the CD for one thirty five. And I suggest it's a good idea for you to get two items, and that way you can share one. So the telephone number five ten eight four eight five seven three two one eight hundred four three nine five seven three two. I'm not sure what our goal is for this hour, but as uh, if you were listening the last hour when I was on with Andrew um, Seltzer from Making Contact, you know that we're a little behind on our overall goal at this point in our fund drive. Our overall um, goal here is to raise eight hundred thousand dollars, and we're a little under three hundred thousand dollars. And so we got to pick it up if we're going to make our goal. And and with your help, we can do that. Area code five ten. 848-5732 or 1-800-439-5732. We're going to shift gears now and talk about uh, education specifically here in California, specifically the University of California, whose uh, flagship campus is just up the road here from uh, KPFA's studios. We're going to hear excerpts of a speech by Gray Brecken. He holds bachelor's and doctoral degrees from UC. He's a historian and author. His uh, well-known work, Imperial San Francisco, 1-800-439-5732. Gray Brecken says that uh, UC is, is in the process of um, parting with some of its most important scholarly resources, sloughing off things which are not of, of uh, commercial value and instead becoming the handmaiden to corporations. He also spoke in Berkeley last month, or rather in, in Oakland last month. He spoke at a forum on the attack on public education that was held at Laney Community College a few weeks ago. Gray Brecken among many other speakers at that event. Let's uh, go in a moment to hear Gray Brecken speaking on uh, the UC system. As we have another caller. Thank you for calling. 1-800-439-5732. Keep those calls coming, please, while you hear these speeches. If you like what you're hearing, if you realize you won't hear it elsewhere, Thank please you, caller. keep calling. one 800 1-800-439-5732. Three people on the line right now, but we have room for more. 1-800-439-5732. Let's go now to Gray Brecken speaking about the history of, of the UC system. And uh, in the first part of his speech, he takes a look back at the New Deal. How did the nation cope with the economic crisis of that time? How does it contrast with what's going on today? Here's Gray Brecken speaking last month in Oakland. The uh, UC administration is ridding the university of the great scholarly collections for which it was world famous, which make it into a great research university. They, uh, last year, they quietly got rid of the Water Resource Center archive, the best water archives in the country, perhaps in the world. Next year, they're scheduled to close the Scripps Institute of Oceanography Library at UC San Diego, the greatest oceanography library in the world. They've already gotten rid of three specialized libraries at UC San Diego. They gave away or sold 150,000 books. They are dismantling the University of California as a research institution now, unless it's a profit center such as biotech, law, or business. All right. Um, well, I'll come back to that in a while. Um, George uh, said that he's the child of the master plan for higher education, so am I, except I'll take it back further. We're children of the New Deal, of Franklin and Eleanor Roosevelt, Francis Perkins, Harry Hopkins, those people back during the 30s, because the master plan is itself a New Deal document, although it, 
it's done in 1960. I've been doing a lot of research on the New Deal, um, and what I've discovered happened during the Great Depression that my parents suffered is that they did exactly the opposite of what we are doing now. In response to the Great Depression, they built or refurbished tens of thousands of schools. George's High School, George Washington uh, High School, is a beautiful public works administration building, as are most of these schools, the older schools, in Los Angeles, Long Beach, and Santa Monica, because there was a big earthquake down there. They came in and just rebuilt the whole thing with modern schools. Um, they built as a, tens of thousands of schools. Inter they had this queer idea that it's, cheap, it's better for society and a lot cheaper to lift people up rather than punish them. So they build schools rather than prisons. Isn't that an odd idea? <laughs> We're doing exactly the opposite. We're doing everything we can to build a pathological society rather than a healthy one. They thought about how do you use government to create a healthy society? So it's all about communalism, which of course the enemies said was communism. But no, it's about communalism. In addition to, um, to building schools, the, first, the, the predecessor of the WPA, the Civil Works Administration, um, which was the winter of 33-34, uh, they immediately hired 50,000 school teachers, sending many out to rural school districts that couldn't afford them. In addition, the New Deal built libra public libraries, museums. Um, they built teaching hospitals. Of course, there was a great art program. There was music. There was theater. There was writing. There were anthropological digs. It was a phenomenal fluorescence of civilization, of culture. Toby Cole, who used to do the theater reviews at uh, KPFA, we interviewed her. And uh, she said, in my opinion, it was the most creative period in American life. I'm coming to believe that, actually. That was an excerpt of a speech by historian and author Gray Brecken at Laney Community College last month. This is KPFA's... Education Today, a special one-hour edition, and it's also KPFA's Winter Membership Drive. We're asking for your support, 1-800-439-5732, to support this educational institution, KPFA, 1-800-439-5732. Greg Brecken's speech, you can have the full, uh, full uh, audio of it, as well as many other speeches which took place at that forum at Laney College uh, last month. That's available for a pledge of $120, six CDs altogether, the full audio of, of that uh, conference to taking place at Laney Community College in Oakland on January the 22nd. If you weren't there, you can still learn all that was said at that meeting. 1-800-439-5732. One caller on the line. I'm Anthony Fest here with Veronica Faison, urging you to keep calling. 1-800-439-5732. We're going to hear more of Gray Brecken in a moment, but we've got to encourage more people to call. 1-800-439-5732. And the local number is area code 510-848-5732. And the premiums are uh, the CD of Diane Ravish's event that happened on the 19th here in San Francisco, I'm in the Bay Area, uh, for $60. And the DVD of the same event is $100. In addition, it's uh, The Death and Life of the Great American School System, How Testing and Choice are Undermining Education. That's uh, Diane's book for $85. You can get the book and the CD for 135 or the book and the DVD for 170 You can get both of them and share one of them with your local community organization, your church, your library. And also, Anthony just mentioned, um, we will go back to more excerpts from um, Gary... Greg Brecken. Greg... <laughs> Gray, Gray Brecken. Gray Brecken <laughs> It's almost like a German. Um, anyway, it's a six CD set, Privatization and the Attack on Public Education for $120. And if you want all of this, tell them in the phone room. They'll make a deal with you. Area code 510-848-5732-1800-439-5732. Basic KPFA memberships, $25. You can also get, for instance, a KPFA T-shirt for $60. Help us advertise, get the word out. And I think they have water bottles. Ask them in the phone room. Uh, and also, I might take this opportunity to acknowledge our food vendors for today's Semi Freddy's, B Healthy Honey, Cabot Creamery Cooperative, High Wire, Coffee Roasters, and Flacos. Again, the telephone number is 510 
1-800-439-5732. Give us a call and express your support for fine programming like Education Today and other programs that exp- uh, go into uh, into detail about controversial and important issues such as what's happening with our educational system. Even if you don't have children, of course it's important to you because an educated society is an informed society and that includes everyone, not just uh, upper and middle class people who can't afford to send their kids to private schools. Area codes 510 848 5732 or 1 800 439 5732. That number, once again, 1-800-439-5732. Seems to be a little pause in the calling, but the volunteers are waiting to take your calls. Give them something to do, please. 1-800-439-5732. Let's go back again to Gray Brecken's speech at Laney Community College last month. In this next excerpt of the speech, he talks about uh, what happened in the 1980s, both the national politics and how it affected the UC system. Here's that excerpt. 1986 is the first known use of the term starve the beast. It was um, voiced by um, an unknown person in the White House on the staff. It summarized the idea of if you can just starve government of its resources through tax cuts and shifts, etc., um, well, Tina, there is no alternative. There's no money in the bank. So starve the beast is incredibly effective. And, of course, it was taken to a high art form by Bush the second, by launching wars at the same time of having tax cuts. That's a great way for just bankrupting your government so that you can't do things, with a major exception, which I'll come back to soon, which, of course, President Eisenhower warned us about. In 1995, one of the idols of the right wing, Milton Friedman, wrote a position paper for the Cato Institute. This is one of the think tanks that comes out of the Lewis Powell memo. I'm just going to read you the first few sentences of it. This is a a Cato briefing paper. It says, Our elementary and secondary educational system needs to be radically restructured. Such a reconstruction can be achieved only by privatizing a major segment of the educational system. That is, by enabling a private, for-profit industry to develop that will provide a wide variety of learning opportunities and offer effective competition to public schools. This is 17 years ago. But he says it is so radical that it has to be done gradually. So that, you know, because if it was done right away, of course, people wouldn't have accepted it. This is the frog boiling in the pot. Um, and that, and this has largely been implemented. All we've been talking about comes out first of the Lewis Powell memo and then this Cato briefing paper. Okay? Um, so then in 2000, we get our coup d'etat. We get uh, Bush II, of course. Um, 9-11 happens soon thereafter. And with 9-11, we get things like rapidly increasing militarization, securitization, and surveillance, and these have become phenomenally profitable, as well as great ways for keeping, well, malcontent, such as all of us here, in line. The Occupy movement, for example. We did, in California, briefly have a would-be Democratic governor before he was thrown out for a bionic action hero. That was Gray Davis, who appointed his good buddy and funder, Richard Blum, uh, the, the um, private equity capitalist's husband, billionaire of Dianne Feinstein, onto the board of regents. Richard Blum is the alpha regent. None of the regents have any experience in education. They are basically millionaires to billionaires, such as Richard Blum, but, uh, as George and others have said, they all have very certain ideas about what education should be. They are Lewis Powell's ideas about what, and Milton Friedman's about what education should be, and one of the things that it should be is profitable, very profitable for themselves. So, what we have been seeing is that for the last few years, since Richard Blum came in, but actually was going on before then, it's just accelerating, is the dismantling of the University of California. I have actually um, an article in this week's uh, Bay Guardian called Exporting Our Brains about how the um, chancellor of UC and the dean of the College of Engineering, while the professors and students were being beaten by the cops on Sproul Plaza on November 9th, where were they? 
They were in Shanghai signing an agreement with the Chinese to open a new branch of the UC Department of Engineering there to export our technical expertise to our would-be rivals there. China wants to build a rival to Silicon Valley over there in Shanghai at the office park and we're going to help them for a price. So is Duke, so is NYU, they're all opening branches over there. And as the article in the New York Times said, the UC schools of business and law are also thinking of opening partnerships with the Chinese over there. The deans of all of those schools at Berkeley, engineering, law, and business, are all very good friends of Regent Blum, and in fact serve on the Blum Center for Developing Economies, which is a building right next to mine that just sort of dropped out of the sky like an alien mothership, and is there right there, and nobody quite seems to know what it does. It studies poverty and its remediation in places other than here, in developing countries. It doesn't study de-developing countries such as this one and why it's happening, and how Richard Blum is profiting handsomely from that, as is his wife. I'm getting close to the end now, um, but there's so much more to talk about. Probably some of you know that an independent investigative reporter, Peter Byrne, did a magnificent series of articles called Investor U on Regent Blum and others, but particularly Regent Blum's conflicts of interest and th their unethical, how unethical they are, and how one of Regent Blum's chief fields of investment is for-profit colleges. And that's historian and author Gray Brecken speaking last month in a conference at Laney College, Privatization and the Attack on Public Education. I'm guessing you didn't hear this anywhere else, didn't see it on TV, didn't hear it on any other radio station. If you think this is worthwhile, if you want to keep programs like this going, 1-800-439-5732. Anthony Fest here with Veronica Vaison asking you to pledge 1-800-439-5732 and keep KPFA on the air bringing you programs like Education Today. 1-800-439-5732. Just a few minutes to go. We need your calls right now. 1-800-439-5732. And we want to thank a couple people who have stepped up. Uh, Robert from Alameda. Thank you, Robert. And Alfredo from San Francisco. Thank you, Alfredo. And uh, so far, we have made about $225. And as far as I'm concerned, our goal is a minimum of $1,000 for this hour, and with your help, we can make it. The telephone number here locally is 510-848-5732 or 1-800-HEY-KPFA. That translates to 1-800-439-5732. We have one person on the line. Thank you, caller. Uh, let's get four more people on the line. Every code 510-848-5732, 1-800-439-5732. If you care about the educational system, which is one of the fundamentals of our society. It keeps us in order. It means, as I said, an inform educated society is an informed society, an empowered society. Call us, 510-848-5732, 1-800-439-5732, to demonstrate your financial support on whatever level is comfortable for you. Tell them what the premiums are, Anthony. Yes, indeed. Earlier in, in the hour, you heard uh, Diane Ravitch speaking on the death and life of the great American school system, specifically criticizing the No Child Left Behind Act, of which she was originally a supporter. Her book, The Death and Life of the Great American School System, available for an $85 pledge. Her speech in, in uh, Berkeley last month, available for a $60 pledge at, at the CD version or the DVD for 100 Book and CD for 135 the book and DVD, 170 Call right now, 1-800-439-5782. If I ran through those options too fast, just ask the phone volunteer who takes your calls to explain them. 1-800-439-5732. We just heard from Gray Brecken speaking about the UC system. Very disturbing thought there. Is the U.S. a de-developing country, as he suggests? 
may I suggest that it, it's up to us to uh, prevent that from happening. 1-800-439-5732. It's institutions like KPFA, independent media, discussing these issues that will uh, keep us from becoming a de-developing country. 1-800-439-5732. Gray spoke last month at a conference called Privatization and the Attack on Public Education. That was an all-day conference on January 22nd. At Laney Community College, he was one of a number of speakers. We also had Jack Gerson of the OEA, uh, retired now. Kathleen Carroll, the attorney, speaking about uh, problems in the teacher credentialing system here in California. 1-800-439-5732, the six CD set for a pledge of $120. You'll also hear Peter Matthews speaking about his proposed tax initiative, which would tax oil in California to help fund education. California being the only state which does not have an oil extraction tax. 1-800-439-5732 to equip yourself with all this information. 1-800-439-5732. Veronica? Well, if we have 10 people call and pledge $100, we can make that goal. I just mentioned $1,000 for this hour. Uh, the telephone number again locally is 510-848-5732. 1-800-439-5732. You get the book and the CD of Diane's uh, speech for 135 You get the book and DVD for 170 And the book alone, The Death and Life of the American School System, How Testing and Choice Are Undermining Education, that's $85. And individually, the DVD is 100 The CD is 60 for the event that took place here on the 19th of January. So uh, you can get, I, I recommend that you get two items at least and you can share one. This is information that we want to get out into because people are unaware of this problem, which I consider to be a fundamental attack. And also there is uh, privatization and the attack on public education by... Gray. Many, many, uh, many speakers Brecken. at that conference at Laney College last month. Gray Brecken and, and a number of others. 1-800-439-5732. We'll get you CD. all six. Yeah. Exactly. For 120. Area code 510-848-5732. We have two people on the line. Thank you. We just need eight more. <laughs> 510-848-5732 or 1-800-439-5732. How much do you care about education? The educational system in the United States. Now, we've had issues over the years with uh, such things as separate and equal, which was really separate and unequal. Here is much more fundamental attack. You need to know about it. Call us, area code 510-848-5732, 1-800-439-5732, so you can get what Diane has to say and what Gray. Is his name Gray or Gary? Gray. 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 Okay. All right. There Gray Brecken, look, look a lot. He's the second Gray I've known about. You know the other one. Area code 510-848-5732, 1-800-439-5732. There's one call lit on the box. We have a box here, and when someone calls, it lights up. I think we can light the whole thing up. Let's With do your it. help, do you do your part, you, 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 area code 510-848-5732 or 1-800-439-5732. Don't wait for someone else to do it. Do no, it yourself. You 1-800-439-5732. It's your we, call. Yeah. We know more more of you are listening than, than pledge. We'd like to get more of you to support this station. 1-800-439-5732. $25 also gets you a basic voting membership here at KPFA. You can have your say to a certain extent. Area code 510-848-5732, 1-800-439-5732. Anthony, we have a little bit less than two minutes left. Keep and the I calls coming. Make our goal. Three calls on the line now. All right, let's thank let's you make for it calling. four, five, we six. Can do it. There we go. There we go. See, now you're getting it. There's five. See, I knew you heard me. I had faith. Area code 510-848-5732, Overall goal is $800,000. If you have it, you can uh, put it on your credit card or write a check. We'll take that. But in the meantime, donate on the level that's most comfortable for you Call it by calling area code 510-848-5732 or 1-800-439-5732. Just like in our school days, people seem to wait for the last minute, but in this case, that's okay. Keep the calls coming, 
1-800-439-5732. Don't say the dog ate your homework. 1-800-439-5732. Keep the calls coming. Make it happen. Support this radio station. Educate yourself about education. 1-800-439-5732. And you are listening to 94.1 FM KPFA here in Berkeley and 89.3 KPFB in Berkeley, 88.1 KSCF in Fresno and online at kpfa.org. 